it should be live. I'm not able to. Is streaming to LinkedIn as well. Yeah, the worst platform to stream on is uh, LinkedIn. Can't see the stream. It's streaming from somewhere onto LinkedIn. Right. It's streaming in. To US uh, South Central, be the same. Yeah, this will be helpful. Doesn't work in like two, uh, give it five, uh, like a minute or so. Started yes yet.
convicting too. Right, seem to be doing something. Right, so we are live on LinkedIn as well. Yeah, LinkedIn is the worst platform to live stream on. Sounds like okay. We'll do some music that would not be copyrighted because uh, we made the musical instrument. If you make the musical <laughs> instrument, the music should be yours in theory. I don't know, is someone having copyright to notes? To the musical, uh, it's called note. Uh, Notation. So hello, hello. We're starting a sec. This uh, this is another tool that will eventually appear on uh, which way? It's that way. On bionicchaos.com. It's actually there already, so you can try it out. It's on bionicchaos.com slash gesture groove, but it hasn't been released properly. Oops. Was there test for it? That was a test for it. Yeah, streaming at 30 FPS. Uh, YouTube, Twitch, and LinkedIn as well. So that, that should be working okay. Um, this one quickly covered it already so many times. Uh, we had a different version uh, for it, but I like this one better. The new version meant to also play a different number of nodes depending on how many extended fingers you show but uh, I actually like this one better it will do volume up and down well as uh, it should be fairly intuitive and we'll do short notes if you depending on the distance between the thumb and the index finger finger and you have two scales for the two oops touch the microphone i'll edit it out in the video i have to remember you have two scales for the two hands one is more annoying than the other and it's all in the javascript so you can and you can play both of them together this might be too loud so you keep them keep your hands low so it's good for exercising when you forget to move at your desk. <laughs> Could be a reminder to exercise. So I'll mute this. Uh, and again, this is all working in um, JavaScript. So it should all be available on the front. Uh, uh, on the web page. So what? This is not recording anything. Yeah, probably have to restart the page, but then my camera will disappear. So I'm using it. Uh, yeah, so now I muted it, so you shouldn't hear any any noise. But uh, I'm using the camera of it as well. And yeah, if we, if anyone wants music, we can turn it back on. We'll start developing in a second. We're uh, doing the fuzzy logic stuff for the last couple of uh, streams for a week or so, but we might just take a different approach and combine a few few of those things together. So I don't know if you remember. Uh, we had this game um, that will show um, ECG waveforms, and you have to click on on it. Um, when uh, the ECG is abnormal, it will give you a hit. When the ECG is normal as such, and you click on it, it will give you a false alarm. So you detected a false, uh, false detected an abnormal EEG. Now it will, should give me a correct rejection. Uh, this is another normal, yeah, it should give me now correct rejection. If I do not click on it, 
if I do click on it, it gives me a false alarm because that's a false detection. It was normally ECG, but we clicked on it. Uh, misses, yeah, and when we had an abnormal ECG like this and we didn't click on it, so we should have another miss and we'll give you an overall score. It should be another hit and so on and so forth. Uh, as you can see videos from earlier, we can, uh, I can, well, I'm biased because I made it, but I can reach uh, a score about uh, 1000 or so. I uh, have to double check. Um, essentially for a very long time, uh, keeping it with no uh, uh, false alarms or misses. And uh, what we want to try out, so as you uh, know, just stop in this in a new tab, we have this uh, fuzzy logic and neural network. We want those to play the game. So essentially what we want to do is have some sort of algorithm that is uh, playing the game by itself, uh, just by looking at the, at the, um, at the signal. Uh, potentially, no, it won't be an image. You will feed the, the actual data points. So time series uh, data into a, a fuzzy logic or a neural network algorithm for it to be able to essentially play the game itself and uh, be able to detect if the, in this case, if the ECG is abnormal or not. That's what we would, that's a hard one to detect because it didn't have that little notch uh, after the peak. And I missed that one. Yeah, that's an abnormal one as well. So essentially, yeah, we want to train an algorithm, fuzzy logic or neural network to play the game. Will essentially be a, a gamified cardiologist that detects uh, abnormal ECG. So how shall we go about it? Uh, we will use uh, ChatGPT. <laughs> Basically, we get ChatGPT to to do it for us. Just double check a couple of things. I uh, just uh, just checking the chat. So if you have anything, uh, any questions about bionicchaos.com or anything else, please do pop them in the chat wherever you watching this from. So we have, let's quickly uh, go for it. So that's the whole... Um, close all quickly so we have a uh, fuzzy logic instead of fuzzy logic because that should be easy it's like an explainer it should be like an explainable ai thing uh, we have this main javascript a uh, main thing about it is that we should have those I don't see it. Why? We should um, have those regions. So we're looking at uh, certain, we're extracting certain uh, uh, parameters, certain features from the signal, like amplitude, frequency. Uh, in this case, we could go for the number number of peaks, up, up and down uh, peaks. That would be a good one should be highly successful so we can do a uh, amplitude frequency and uh, the number of uh, uh, peaks and that one can be split into up and down as well rgp but what i'm looking for in this code is fetching eg down normalizing it displaying artifact risk Oh, this is a, this, okay, so this one has a Python code as well. Right, 
uh, so it does have a backend. Yeah, ideally, uh, yeah, we'll ask uh, ChatGPT, or if you have any ideas about it, please do let me know. But we essentially want to uh, do as much as possible in the front end, so we don't have load my server. But if necessary, yeah, we're happy to to do backend calculations as well. Like in this case, where yeah, all the calculations are made uh, backend uh, using Python. So you have this membership function. So I'm scrolling through this thing too much, but I'm looking for a specific yeah. So I'm looking for this membership function. So it's essentially for every um, for every feature. A, this is assuming normalized, and that's what was the problem why things didn't work uh, in the previous uh, live streams. Um, is that uh, we weren't normalizing properly. Uh, but essentially, this means that uh, you will have uh, the number of um, parameters, the features that we're extracting from the signal, in this case, amplitude and frequency. And then we split it into three ranges, uh, low, medium, and high. And then we decide uh, for the output in what case the output, which is indicating the likelihood of an artifact, in uh, that case was the EEG, but doesn't matter, it can be ECG as well, in which case it's low, medium, and high as well. And you have those a fuzzy rules that essentially say if the amplitude frequency is low, the a artifact, well, it says risk, but it really should be artifact uh, probability is low. If the amplitude is medium, frequency is medium, the artifact probability is medium, and um, by the same uh, logic, uh, if amplitude is high, frequency is high, the artifact uh, probability is high as well. So obviously like a simplistic thing that actually didn't work because the output of uh, amplitude and frequency was not properly normalized between 0 and 1. Um, so we could ever fix this, which could be nice, or start from scratch. Let me know what you think. What do you think? What do you think we should do start from scratch or continue fixing stuff so let me know in the comments wherever you're watching this from just checking the chat there's nothing in the chat so we can continue so we'll close that for a second so what I, what I said if we are starting from scratch we we also want to include an option to do the same using a neural ne a neural neural network a algorithm a fuzzy logic and we could imply, apply it onto this uh, ECG game. So let's start prompting. We also have this, uh, what is it, limit of 40 messages per three hours. So hopefully it won't reach. So we are live streaming. Um, it's a development session. We would like to make a Flask application, preferably most of the development will be in uh, JavaScript and only if necessary we do things in the back end. We would like to combine a few things on BionicChaos.com. So currently fuzzy logic and neural net network tools do not work uh, we would like to do something from scratch we would like to combine them with the ECG game so essentially the algorithms playing the game themselves trying to detect abnormal ECG a waveform pattern probably looking at amplitude frequency 
and the number of positive and negative peaks. We will start with the fuzzy logic algorithm first. And I'll provide you with the code that we currently have. Alternatively, you could just generate prompts for me to use in GitHub Copilot. Copilot Yep What? <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate What just happened? I am logged in and everything Uh, did I not pay? Oh, and let me double check. Otherwise, we just use uh, GitHub Copilot. Let's use uh, GitHub Copilot straight away. So we don't waste time, precious time. Uh, always trying, keep uh, trying to use this workspace uh, feature that meant to be uh, looking at my, at other files as well, but it never worked. It's collecting works, workspace structure. In the meantime, Double check what happened to GitHub Copilot. Yeah, I always get this uh, array buffer allocation fail. Pretty sure I've seen videos of people using it successfully on uh, Windows. So it must be not working on Linux. Ah, which is a shame. But we have to deal with it. Just deal with it. Let's check. Uh, okay, so let's try the same prompt, um, but then we need to select a code. We'll try it anyway. Yes, yeah, so it's using um, where I currently have the cursor. It's giving me a boilerplate, a template for a Flask application. That's okay. Yeah, we'll start from the code uh, for the ECG game. Because, yeah, this one is giving me generic, uh, generic stuff. Close the gesture groove. Let's close them all for now. And we need a ECG game, what's it called? Cardio Quest. Yeah, it's like silly names that I give stuff and then I forget uh, what it's actually called. Yes, yeah, so we have Cardio Quest. Yeah, I have a lot to it. Which Python do we use? Ooh, it's a bit of a messy project. Let's look into uh, index.html. We're using two. JavaScript. They should be in. Right, I don't know why they're not in the subfolder, but okay. Have the game logic. And we have the. Right, we have the waveforms. Those are the waveforms. 
And what else do we have? And we have the Python. Um, this one's having a lint, lint error. So why? It got locked, uh, locked out. Yeah, that's weird. Sounds like we'll have to be using uh, a GitHub Copilot for this session. Okay, I'm logged in now. Uh, where was the prompt? This was the prompt. Yeah, so the ChatGPT is giving more, better responses generally. Yeah, it's working Great. now. Developing a Flask application to integrate fuzzy logic and neural network tools with an ECG game is an exciting project. Since you're focusing on JavaScript for front-end development, you'll likely use Flask as a back-end API server. The idea of algorithms playing the game, analyzing ECG waveforms based on amplitude, frequency, and peak counts, is fascinating. For the fuzzy yep, logic yep. part, you'll need to define rules to interpret ECG data. This could involve setting thresholds for amplitude, frequency, and peak count to classify the waveforms. Yeah, we'll Once you provide the current code, we can start refining or building upon it. As for GitHub Copilot, I can certainly help generate prompts. These prompts can guide Copilot to generate specific code snippets or functionalities you need. For instance, if you need a function to analyze ECG waveforms, a prompt could be, write a JavaScript function to analyze an ECG waveform, taking an array of data points as input and returning an object with amplitude, frequency, and peak count. Remember, integration of these components will be key. Ensure that your Flask backend can efficiently handle requests from the front end and process them through your fuzzy logic and neural network algorithms. Also, consider how the game interface will display the ECG analysis results. Let's start with the fuzzy logic algorithm. Share the current code, and we can work on generating specific prompts or refining the algorithm as needed. Okay, yeah, so we have the current code. have the game rules and everything yeah it will be a uh, quite hard integrating all these things Yeah, the code is pretty much just the uh, um, just a canvas for the game. Just the canvas for the game. So there's not much in HTML. Okay, we might be doing more prompts for a GitHub Copilot at this stage. I can uh, provide some images of how the game looks like. Yeah, because uh, GitHub Copilot doesn't have that option. Yep. Sure. 
If you provide images of how the ECG game currently looks, I can help you create detailed prompts for GitHub Copilot. These prompts will be designed to guide Copilot in developing specific functionalities or UI elements for your game. Please go ahead and share the images. This what? Uh, this what the normal ECG looks like? Yep. And this is an example of uh, abnormal Got ECG. It. That's a good starting point. Based on your image of the ECG game interface, here are some prompts you could use with GitHub Copilot to enhance the game. Create a JavaScript function that randomly generates ECG waveforms with predefined normal and abnormal parameters and displays them on a canvas element. Develop a scoring system in JavaScript for an ECG game where points are given for correctly identifying abnormal ECG patterns and deducted for false identifications. Write a JavaScript algorithm that can detect the number of peaks in an ECG waveform to differentiate between normal and abnormal patterns. Implement a JavaScript function to update game statistics, such as hits, false alarms, correct rejections, and misses, based on the user's interactions with the ECG waveforms. Remember to clarify the requirements and constraints within your prompts to get the most accurate code generation from Copilot. Understood, that's an abnormal ECG example. To work with GitHub Copilot for your project, you might consider prompts like Write a JavaScript function that compares a given ECG waveform against normal and abnormal criteria and decides if the pattern is abnormal. Develop a JavaScript class that represents an ECG game, including methods for scoring, tracking statistics like hits, false alarms, and misses, and rendering both normal and abnormal ECG waveforms. Create a function that uses Canvas to animate an ECG waveform transition from normal to abnormal to simulate real-time monitoring in the game. Each prompt should be as specific as possible, including parameters, expected outcomes, and any edge cases you want to handle. This will help GitHub Copilot generate the most useful code snippets for your project. Um, right, let's quickly try the workspace again and ask about the project structure. I think I know what the problem is. I think it's because we have like too many files to look through. I don't know why is it not just looking. Yeah, it's always giving me this array buffer allocation error. Yeah, this clear works in the same way like that uh, button, that's okay. Okay, there's a bit of a misunderstanding. The current application already works. Current. And we want to make a different version of it, which will include uh, an algorithm that could uh, play the game by itself using fuzzy logical neural network we will focus on fuzzy logic first yep got it you're aiming to automate the game using a fuzzy logic based algorithm that can analyze ecg patterns and decide which are abnormal without human input here are some github copilot prompts that could assist in developing such a feature 
Design a fuzzy logic algorithm in JavaScript that can analyze ECG waveforms and identify abnormal patterns based on criteria such as amplitude variations, irregular frequencies, and unusual peak counts. Implement a fuzzy logic system that evaluates ECG data and makes decisions with a degree of uncertainty, allowing the game to simulate decision-making similar to that of a human expert. Code yeah, a simulation right. loop in JavaScript where a fuzzy logic algorithm receives continuous ECG waveform data, analyzes it, and autonomously makes decisions to identify abnormal patterns as part of an ECG game. Make sure to set clear parameters for what constitutes a normal and an abnormal ECG within the context of your game, so the fuzzy logic can be tailored accordingly. Okay, let's read this quickly, just primarily after or not read this because it's too long. I know what we know what it's doing overall. Question is Is there a use of a Python script? If so, explain. It's taking uh, every time. Um, uh, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Copilot. Explain this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the thing is running as a Flask application. I know it because yeah, because this would not run. Go back there. The Flask application will run if we run the Python code. Um, okay, this is not running. Well, that must be because actually using a different just open through. Um, and containing folder. A card request to see game logic the game logic pie right this one is the okay game logic game logic pie is what's actually running the thing. Close that, run this. Okay, and this is running in Python itself, which is not cool. No, I meant to be the app. App by it's the Flask. That one is not running. Getting a four of four for script JS.
called again. Check all the Python. Uh, all the Python files if they are Flask applications or not. This one's not. Game logic is not. No, it's only by. Okay, this is a problem because this is the one we have deployed. <laughs> uh, it's working on the site. A network. script js f3 or 4 ah, okay not modify why do i need to know it's not modified it's loaded in under two seconds which is quite a lot still Oh, I know why. I know why it's not running. It will not run locally. That's why. Because there's a check for if we are running locally or not. Is there?
Yeah, it's always these technical problems that prevent us from progressing. Progressing. And uh, it's quite unfortunate. Actually, I don't know why is it not. having trouble with the rest of the files We can ask about it. We have one function that is not defined at all. It seems like potentially this is not what we have deployed. Yeah, we might not have much time to fix it today. We'll do it in another time. I'm just thinking git potentially old and earlier version of this thing. And potentially that's why hey, I'm not seeing the new code. Have to go check it out. We had some problem with git. Yeah, we generally don't mind committing on the whole project, but it just will be very messy. There are some uh, git ignore uh, functions that we uh, files that we defined, uh, but that's okay. Then some of the commits do not work because we have some uh, issues with the logging uh, credentials. So we're really, but looking at this uh, changes, it's an untracked file. I actually like to remove this one. Yeah, this is all the git commands, but they're quite confusing. Can quickly check. We click check it and then yes, yeah, so card request was updated two weeks ago.
a cardio quest app by to say this generate new waveform segment how oh, it's imported from static game that's commented out okay how do i <laughs> what's blame um can view code at that point yeah i don't know why that is commented out it's actually wrong Yeah, that's commented again, but then we're actually trying to use it, so that doesn't make sense. I'll blame Git for stuffing it up. It's also odd that we... Yeah, we have, as I said, we have it currently deployed, uh, but it's not working. Yeah, we might do another stream today. So do join in. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye.